So tell us who you are. I am Gabe Storm. And... <laughs> <laughs> Bam! We're here in front of City Hall, and uh, some of your artwork is uh, just right inside, but this is a COVID world, and, uh, and we're not able to have our regular artist reception. Right. Um, so we wanted to show. Yeah. Got to get got, the. Got masks uh huh. Out and there. wait, I even have matching gloves. Yeah. Huh? Oh, huh? I they, color coordinated my gloves. These are these are the gloves of an artist. <laughs> That's right. Uh, very vibrant colors. Um, tell us about your artwork because a lot of your artwork we, we see like right over here in some of these posters, and we just see your artwork mm -hmm. all around town. Um, Tell us about um, how you started learning all of this uh, this, this style of artwork. Okay, well, uh, it's you know graphic based and a lot of hand illustration as well. Um, and I have been doing it since I was in high school, poorly in high school, and then as I you know got better and better and kind of cut my teeth in New York, and then came back out here and have just worked for myself pretty much ever since. And so the style we kind of developed for the for the city is just I don't know what you really call it. It's but it's very specific style I kind of helped uh, you know work with the city to kind of come up with so but it's I mean it took me I don't know 20 years to you know to come up with that style I suppose does that make sense yeah it does okay. make sense <laughs> and it's so cool because it, like you do have a distinctive style and it's become uh, such a such a prominent feature of Milwaukee Oregon here. oh thank you I like to think of that I, I appreciate that I find that very flattering this is my hometown and I'm very uh it's near and dear to me when you say that kind of stuff so I appreciate it but yeah when did you start working on projects that's a good question I think it was 2013 14 something like that so six seven years I think it, I, I don't know you I, I don't know I, I, I wasn't the first person to contact you about that oh hmm. touche I think it was about seven years I think about yeah. seven years yeah seven years. that's how long it's, um, I think one of the first things I did was the riverfront, which is that, the Milwaukee Bay Park. I think that was one of the first things. Yeah, I think so. And I could be mistaken. I mean, I worked with, on Milwaukee Days and some other things, you know, early on. Um, uh, uh, Milwaukee Days and um, First Friday stuff. And there were some things, a little bit pre-city stuff. But then I think it was about 2013, 14, 15, right in there somewhere. I could have, I could have, had I known what the questions were going to be, I could have brought notes. <laughs> My cheat sheet. Um, just kidding. Um, what's one of the things you're most proud of that you designed for city or I think one of my favorites, if I should, I'll just call it one of my favorites, is uh, the most recent tree lighting with John the bagpipe player on the front. That's my personal favorite, just because I, I like the kind of festive, you know, the festivity that it captured. So that was. And the city's pretty good because they've always kind of let me just do whatever I want to do. I mean, there's rarely do I get really um, specific direction. It's more like, and you're to thank for that. It's just like, give us what you think. And nine times out of 10, we get it right with a little couple of tweaks here and there. But for the most part, it's usually right on. And so that was one of my personal favorites is that one. And I think the, the second, my other one would be the Kronberg Park with the Mac, with the light rail going over the top, over the bridge. That's my other one of my favorites too. So, yeah. Do you do you get recognized for your artwork here in town? Do people know that you are making this artwork for us? I don't think so. I think when I tell people or mention it to people, they're they don't quite understand what that means. Usually, like, what do you mean you made the artwork? Um, and I don't usually kind of. Well, I made the artwork, so I let people kind of discover it for themselves. Um, but no, I wouldn't say that that's what I'm known for. I think I'm more known for junior baseball than I am for <laughs> the art that I produce in this town. So, are, yeah. Are people surprised to learn that you're a graphic designer? Or... Um, depends on the crowd I'm running with. You know, if I'm, you know, sometimes, you know, like in baseball, they might not know that that's what I do. Usually, because they what, you know, what do you do for a living? And I kind of have to, and the explanation is always very long and drawn out. Like if you say, I'm an electrician, people can kind of, when you say, I'm a graphic designer, like, well, how do you make money? Like, how does that become, how do you, how does that turn into dollars? And so it usually comes with a long explanation. So, yeah, but I don't think people are surprised or, you know, uh, I don't know, or not surprised. I think just kind of like, meh. And of course he does something strange like graphic design. <laughs> it's either that or, you know, exotic animals, but yeah. What so. do you hope to convey when people see your... Um, 
I guess, I mean, honestly, I want, I love the fact the city is, has taken such a, uh, they're taking art seriously. And I really, I really appreciate that. And I'm happy to think that, you know, that we've kind of developed like a bit of a brand for the city. And I think it gives people a lot of pride in Milwaukee to live here, um, that we have a look and a feel. And so I try to, I guess, I mean, I don't know that I necessarily um, am trying to get an emotional feel. I just want it to be kind of professional and exude, I don't know, friendliness, happiness, cleanliness. I mean, the, everything that kind of that stands for in Milwaukee. Um, and so I don't really know. I just, I guess I just want people to take pride in the work, knowing that it's kind of theirs as well, because it belongs to Milwaukee. And so it belongs to the people here. I guess this is kind of the way I would prefer to think about it. Does that make sense? Yeah, and, and you're really, it strikes me that you're really marking history through some of these posters because there are four specific events oftentimes or there are four specific places Yeah. and it's artwork associated with, with reality. Yeah, I, I hadn't really thought about that way, but I appreciate that. I mean, I think that's, I do like that and I do like that a lot of the pieces that are here do have very specific dates. And so, um, you know, you might like something, you know, specifically about each poster, um, but I think the dates kind of, I don't know, it also gives you that, there's that connection where if something special happened on that date, if that was the year that your child was born, or that was the year, the first year that you w moved to Milwaukee, or whatever it might be, I think that's kind of a neat thing too. I grew up in a town in Northern California, and there was an artist there who did posters for the city, and they're still for sale, and these are from the 1960s and 70s. And they were very specific and there'd be like a, a watermelon feed. They would do a thing at the farmer's market where they would bring in watermelons and give out slices of watermelon. And so there was a big, beautiful poster of this watermelon feed that I remember from when I was a kid in the early eighties. And, um, and so that's always stuck with me. There were these, I can remember that day. And now there's the poster that you can actually buy of that day. And so it's just kind of neat. And so I guess that was a little bit of inspiration for me too when we first started this, when the city approached me, because I thought it'd be pretty important to try to, I really love the fact that we're using um, specific areas and, and landmarks in Milwaukee and a lot of the art, um, because it's it'll be neat to see, like for instance, the, the South Downtown Plaza, what that looks like in, when the trees kind of start to all grow and everything, the vegetation comes around, what it's gonna look like in 20 years. And it's been kind of marked, you know, other than just a photograph. So I do kind of like that. True, if we walked, several blocks down the street and went to the Soto Plaza, we could probably stand in, a, in about the same place as, uh, as depicted in your yes. poster. Yes, and, and usually I do that because I go with a, my camera and take a picture of a certain angle that I want. Um, and I take, I mean, that probably, I probably took 50 pictures before I found the exact spot that I wanted to do. And then I kind of go off of that. And so there's a little bit of fudging. I mean, I kind of cheat things into the picture a little bit to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, eye pleasing. But um, for the most part, yeah, anything that I've done, you can actually find where that spot is. Yeah, I should do that. I should take all the pictures. They're just the photographs and have them separate that you can actually see. So yeah, folks um, might really like to see that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Look at you, <laughs> the idea man. So you've been doing other things with your artwork too, like uh, <clears throat> like stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, let me see one of those, would you? So these were well. Here, <laughs> let me see the the Milwaukee ones because this the hearts the hidden hearts of Milwaukee is a little Facebook phenomenon that's been going on and so I had made these for over the summer we did a show Chris Haberman put together a show that was uh, uh, Milwaukee Makers is that what it was called or, or no no not Milwaukee that's you little by little. little yeah but it was the specific to Milwaukee it was all the Milwaukee artists they had them at his at the made Milwaukee yeah, was store little by little. was it little by little okay and so uh, I had done this and a bunch of shirts and different things, and it was all kind of, I love Milwaukee. In fact, there's the other one, the, the big bumper sticker. I love this, he's my, uh, so there was this one too. And so they were, you know, they were kind of a fun little thing, but a lot of people didn't realize that that's the actual uh, outline of the city of Milwaukee. That's the boundaries. And so it didn't go over, so there was a little too much explanation for a lot of people. But so I stuck these out the other day for the uh, hidden hearts of Milwaukee. Um, and I went through about 150 of them in, I think about 48 hours people came by my house and were taking them off a little rack so I had to order more actually and so I've got more coming um, to put out for for uh, more people and it's just for me uh, that's one of my favorite I mean it, it's really moving to me that so many people were um, super excited I mean I had people coming from all over from Oak Grove they were getting in their cars and driving over and getting stickers and taking pictures and thanking me and it was just kind of a nice 
I don't know, I just thought it was a neat community building thing and I and with this whole COVID thing, um, frankly, I've seen the best come out of people. I've seen some pretty awful things come out of people too, but I've also seen the best come out of people. And so, um, I don't know, it's just kind of, I'm glad that I got to be a piece of that too and that I'm, you know, that the, the Hidden Hearts of Milwaukee, if you guys haven't seen that, you should really check it out. It's really rad, it's super awesome. And I'm uh, it just, I don't know, I'm pretty proud to live in a community that, that takes, you know, that took kind of a, a nutty bad thing and has turned it into something there's a huge benefit and I think it's going to change our community forever I think we're going to look at each other a little bit differently so without sounding too cheesy <laughs> so what, what like all these hearts are popping up all mm -hmm. over town there's even one on City Hall over there mm -hmm. um, what do these hearts mean to you I to me I mean it's pretty it's pretty my my daughter kind of summed it up and she had said uh, you know she had heard on you know something or you know some on TV or whatever and they were saying that we're all in this together. And I kind of think that's really what it, it's all about, is that we are all in this together. Um, this COVID thing was kind of the great equalizer. And all of a sudden, doesn't matter where you are socioeconomically or where you are, um, we all have one thing in common. It's kind of something that's gonna bind us. And um, so for me, it just kind of, it represents that we're, there's, you know, we're a, a pretty tight knit community. We're a good community. And I think deep down inside, we all, you know, want to take care of each other. And I mean, that's what it means to me. You know, so it's, I, I don't know, I take it pretty, uh, pretty closely because I think it's a pretty awesome thing to see. And like I said, I think our community um, will be changed forever, I'm hoping, and I think for the good, frankly. So, yeah. Here is the glorious art. Um, yeah, so these are all the prints for the most part. Well, there's a portion of the prints. Um, this isn't everything that we've done for the city over the years. Um, and some of my personal favorites, like this is the new Letting Library. That one just, we just did that one. Um, on the release of the Letting Library. Um, I personally like that one because when I did the design, it wasn't completed yet, so I had to use some imagination <laughs> to what it was gonna look like exactly. And that's pretty close, I think. Um, this is my personal favorite. Um, more recently, that's the Umbrella Parade. Um, and that's John Goff was my model for, his leg got really tired holding that position. Um, but yeah, so he's the local bagpiper. You might hear him sometimes playing, he's been practicing at the uh, Waldorf School mm -hmm. in the middle of the, in the middle of the, in the evenings, I guess he's been going over there and playing. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Should we look over here? Let's look over here. I like these. These were actually Jordan's idea here, I think. Yeah, because you wanted like more of a rock poster style. And I really like those. Um, I think they came out nice. And I wish we'd made shirts of them, but they were just kind of a fun thing to do. And I like it, it marked that um, Sunday Parkways because that was kind of a big deal for the city too that year. So, um, but yeah, I think those are my more favorite. Let's see what's over here. Come on, Hamid, follow me. Here's the Burnside Bridge. Nothing to do with Milwaukee, but I had to, since my company is PDX Designs, even though it's located in Milwaukee. Here's the Arbor Day one. I like the Arbor Day one because this is a little bit different take on I had for the city, I had, this was kind of a different style that I um, kind of played around with for the city. I like that one too. God, I love my, all my artwork. Just kidding. And here's my daughter. I'll plug her. That's actually, I used her as my model for that, kind of. Um, and this is her legs as well. Because sometimes I make my children go out and model for me, whether they like it or not. I've had my son on a skateboard, my daughter on a bicycle. You know, they have to. Even, I think I even had my wife do something too. I think she was one of the people standing by the fire in a jacket. Right so, on. Yeah. Right on. Sort of. So we've got some in the cases too. Yeah, oh yeah. We have, well, there's the Eric's Market. That's, you might have seen Hamid wearing that shirt while playing his electric guitar licks on Facebook. That I have. Happened. And then these, this is the one, the, um, it was for studio number one um, that I was asked to do for uh, Shepard Ferry, who's a pretty well-known artiste. So I was pretty flattered to, to be asked to do that. Um, and this, so this hangs in his uh, studio, I'm told. And then there's a big giant Burnside Bridge. And then, of course you gotta have this one. <clears throat> Cause that's very Milwaukee, is that nobody likes craft beer. And that will be available in t-shirts <laughs> as well. Um, and here's a larger version of the Water Tower stage, which I like that one a lot. Again, that was all Jordan's idea. I just 
move the levers. He's the he's the brains behind it. Move the ledge of levers. It's a, it's a ratatouille situation. Right? <laughs> yeah, but he was writing up on top of my head, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So and everything here is available um, for sale, obviously, but you can't get in to get it. So if anybody wants anything, um, they can go to my website, which is pdxdesigns.com. That's pdxdesigns.com, and they can buy any of the stuff from there. Um, but with printing, it's kind of weird right now, and so. Um, I wasn't able to get a whole lot of stock, so it might take a week or two to actually get the print into my hands. So, yeah. If they can buy any of these pieces up here. In the Anything world. they want, and then some. And there's, I also have some other stuff probably on my site too. So if, you, if it's, yeah, everything here would be available and then some. So, yeah. Right on. And then, you know, we're in the Dogwood City. This oh, yes. piece is always really, really beautiful. I love this one. I mean, I really do. It's kind of a, I grew up in, like I said, Chico, California, which we were, the almond blossoms were, uh, were down there, they call them almond blossoms. Oh, I know. But there were almond blossoms, and so uh, that was always a big deal. You know, when those kind of came out, it just kind of meant the whole, like, <clears throat> spring was coming, and, you know, nice weather was on its way, and that's kind of what um, I wanted to kind of exude with this one. I think I kind of got it, because it really feels like spring. You know, when I look at that, I think of spring, so I like this one. So, and there's my daughter again, right there. Bicycle. Uh, that's her bike. Yep. Your son in any of them? Uh, he actually was in. I think he. I had him riding a bike, maybe or something, or a skateboard, maybe. I think that might be him right there. As a matter of fact. Yeah. So I try to stick my kids in there whenever I can. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> Or this person. Poor guy. I snuck up on him. <laughs> Taking so, the trail. That's right. Yeah. Great. So these are them. Love your stuff, Gabe. Behold. Thanks for sharing with our community. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you for uh, doing this. I mean, I appreciate it. And good luck on your thing. The video. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, tell, say what it was. Oh, it was the Inspiration Oregon. Inspiration Oregon. Uh, short form video challenge, and I was one of the top 10 winners. That's awesome. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh, God, there's so much talent in this town. Oh, we did. Good endless, Lord. Endless, endless Lord. talents in this town. That's part of our strength, right? It's absolutely, like, oh, absolutely. Plus, we're good looking. <laughs> oh, Plus, we on are. top, we're talented we and attractive. We are pretty talented. We got it all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the other one you said you like, right? I do. This is, yeah, I love this one too. And this is kind of at the beginning of this style, you know, before it was kind of a little bit more abstract stuff like this and that over there. But then this kind of got to be that more, I was using gradients and things in it. So I like that one. And there was this for the 80th. So it's kind of an art deco-y thing of City Hall. It's kind of a fun one. Yes. Then of course there's Milwaukee High. Can't forget Milwaukee High. Can't forget High. Milwaukee High. Done like the Milwaukee beer or Milwaukee, what is it? Yeah, Milwaukee beer. Milwaukee's best. Milwaukee, yeah, Milwaukee's best. Sorry, jeez. Milwaukee the beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are, for the most part, it's all just amazing stuff, really. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I do I, say so. I concur. We try to have some amazing artists here yeah. in the City Hall. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for being a part. Happy I can do it. That's a wrap. Bam. Thank you, Gabe.